Hey guys, it's Nyjah. Okay, um, I'm driving somewhere real quick, but I had a quick download. I want to help you guys with money. I want to help us all with money. I've been watching a lot of Abraham Hicks. For those of you guys who don't know, she's like the OG of the Law of Attraction. And is actually one of the first spiritual teachers that I started paying attention to um, on my spiritual journey and how I even got into the Law of Attraction blah 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 manifestation okay so something in me was like you need to go back to the basics because you know vibrational work is like the key component of attraction and so um again this has to do with you making your money so um she's always talking about the vortex the vortex is when you launch a rocket of desire for example um when you're talking about money and you're like man i really want some more money right or like dang i'm broke is usually what we say but the desire is i want more money i desire more abundance i want to see those digits in my bank account go up right i want to see uh the presidents in my wallet anyway so you need to focus on your vortex your vortex is where you are calling out your desire okay the thing about the vortex is, and so like how I used to say it was, it's up here and it's coming down to me, but now the way that I think about it is that as soon as I say I want something, it's in route, 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 it's in route. That's what the vortex is. It's the time period of how long it takes for you to say and acknowledge, oh, this is what I want, oh, wouldn't this be nice, to the period where it actually physically shows up in your reality. So again, if we're talking about money, people say that they want X amount of dollars, right? The very first thing that you need to do when you're manifesting money, one is know exactly how much you want. Now, if we're dialing this in and creating a new vibrational framework of how we're just going to be living our life on autopilot from now on, um, we're setting a new vibrational set point, right? And so what if you want to say, you know what, my new vibrational set point is that it is normal, okay, and regular for me to make $10,000 a month on autopilot, right? This is a desire that, that I'm like, ooh, you know, like it just popped out of nowhere. And I'm like, that feels good. Wouldn't that be nice? So it's now in the vortex. It's now in the desire. Don't be afraid of your desires. Having the desire is just you putting it in the vortex, aka you putting it in route to you. Now, where a lot of people slip up is they abandon the cart before it gets to you, okay? Think about like you're shopping online, you put all the things you want in the cart and then you abandon the cart before it gets to you, right? This is like the universal post office. Like you don't know how long it's gonna take, but you just have to know that it's in route. And so let's start a new or set a new vibrational set point of what you want every month on autopilot this especially is going to be perfect for creators or creatives or people who are self-employed or entrepreneurs who make their own money now if you work a regular nine to five job or anything like that of course your pay or your income is set but through doing this vibrational work you might get a raise or get a bonus or something new could open up it um at work or at your job where you get to expand the container of how much you get to make Sorry, it's so bumpy, guys. I'm parking now. Okay, so creating this new vibrational set point. Let's say we're like, okay, you know what? I got the desire. I'm ready to get this $10,000 a month now. Now you have to normalize it, meaning that you know it's in the vortex. You know it's in root. But now let's like get comfortable with the idea. Now let's not make it a big deal. Now let's not make it bigger or greater than we are, right? Like, yeah, it's a desire and duh, I'm meant to have it. So again, how do we make it, bring it in route to us? Money is equivalent to value the people who have the most money are producing and providing the most value and as soon as you make that association in your head you will begin to attract more money faster think about the most wealthy people in the world think about all the businesses or pockets or avenues that they have open to them therefore more abundance can flow into them i'm not saying that you need to have all these businesses and things like that for money to come to you but you need to be offering value in as many 
avenues as you can to open up the floodgates for you, okay? Again, when I'm saying in route, it's in route, it's coming to you. You need to provide a vehicle or vessel to allow it to come to you. It may come in a way that's completely outside of the avenues that you've created for yourself. Um, but the fact is you need somewhere to work. You need somewhere to put your energy Okay, and so again, it's en route to you. Something you need to remember about money is all of the wealth in the world that you could ever possibly want is in somebody else's pocket. The money that you want is in somebody else's pocket. And the download that I received while I was watching Abraham Hicks is people have already agreed before you even came to this before you came to this realization that you wanted to make more money before you came to earth people already agreed that along their path they were going to make an energetic exchange with you aka transfer their money to you right but you have to convince them not even convince because myron golden says that sales is not about convincing people it's not even really about persuasion well it's more persuasion than convincing people feel yucky about sales because they feel like they need to convince something that you need what i have you need what i have to offer but really you are just providing a solution to what they need therefore of course it's my pleasure to accept this money that you want to give to me because i'm providing so much value to you i know that i deserve what you're giving me right and so when it comes to money think about value even when it when when it, like take money out of it go back to the barter system i my eggs were so important like the chicken eggs that i had but i want your cow's milk right like can we switch because i see what you have is valuable and you see what i have is valuable that's what money is you see the money they have in their bank account is valuable they see whatever you have to offer is valuable they see what you have to offer as more valuable than the money in their bank account therefore they're willing to transfer the money in their bank account into your bank account in exchange for whatever it is that you have to offer a value so really now all you need to think about is what do i have to offer a value it can be a skill it can be a talent you need something to leverage it can be an idea that you create like a business anything like that um what do you have of value to offer the money that you want is in other people's pockets so again let's go back to this um money in the vortex or um you know the money that you want is in route to you what you can do to accelerate that money reaching your pockets is start offering an immense amount of value as much value as you can in whatever way that you can if you like to knit if you like to crochet if you like to whatever it is you have to make your light as big as possible to attract as many people as possible to whatever it is that you like to do and that's why it doesn't matter what you like to do you can do absolutely anything that you want you can make uh, people like to make slime. People like to play with slime for a living, right? Like people, you can do whatever you want. If you're great at long care, do that. If you're great at whispering really quietly into the microphone and making ASMR, like whatever you want. The reason why the internet is the great equalizer is now anybody can get paid to do whatever it is that they do as long as they're willing to be seen okay that's the beauty of the internet now if you're one of those people who's like i don't want to be on the internet blah 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 blah. okay you can still get your needs met with people in person right because that's what they did before internet was even a thing right you just have to let people see you and that's the thing about there's this thing about being seen if you don't want to be seen and if you don't want to interact with people, it will be difficult for you to make as much money as possible. Why? Because the money you want is in other people's pockets. Now, of course, you can get around this by, I don't know, learning trading or like learning how to work the stock exchange. Like there are so many ways to make money. There are so many ways to receive money, so many avenues. What you want to focus on is opening as many avenues as possible. And that doesn't mean like starting as many businesses as possible. This just means let yourself be seen doing what you love to do as much as possible. Doing what you love is the key. That is the medicine. That is the magic. When people see that you love what you're doing, they're like, ooh, that feels good. I'm attracted to that energy. I want to invest in her because she is going to do even more of what she loves. And I love seeing her do what she loves. So I want to pour money into her, right? Or if you're a man, oh my God, he's so good at what he does. Of course, I want to give him as much money as possible to, so that he can continue. Continue to do what he's so gifted and skilled at doing 
right? That is how this energy exchange works. Now, again, Abraham Hicks is like money can come from any and every direction. Once you put out the record of desire, it's en route to you. How you can uh, attract and navigate and manipulate that pull, that attraction of the money to you, having as many avenues open to you as possible, open the avenues in your mind as well. This energetic work, this vibrational work is so important, feeling good about the money that you're asking for. Before you even do any of the work, like scratch everything I just said, before you do any of the work, you have to feel good and comfortable with what you're asking for. It's okay if you inch your way up. Like maybe I don't feel comfortable making $10,000 a month right now, but you know what? I feel comfortable making five. I feel comfortable making eight, right? Right? Like inch your way up until you get to feeling good about what you're asking for and it's no big deal and it's normalized and neutralized in your body. There's no tenseness. There's no trigger. And you're just like going on about your business. Like, yeah, that does feel good. Okay, what's next? I'm hungry. What's for lunch, right? Like, ooh, yeah, I do want $10,000 a month. Okay, what's next? What are we doing? You know, like think about it. Like think about your desires like that. Like release and remove that charge release and remove the charge and focus on just being comfortable with getting what you say you want the sooner you get with being comfortable with what you say you want the easier it is to attract it and then you do the physical action steps to create what you want okay so if you say that you want a successful business that makes you six figures a year or whatever six figures a month these days people are making right get comfortable with that just start saying what you want and see how your body reacts to it. If you were tight, tense, triggered, or your mind is like, oh, I don't believe that, you've got some work to do with becoming comfortable with what you're asking for. Because the sooner you are comfortable with for what you're asking for, again, it's in the vortex, it's coming, it's en route, and it arrives, and it's no big deal. You're like, oh, it was a matter of time. I knew it was coming. I'm happy that it's here. I'm very excited, but I knew it was coming, right? Like when your friends are coming in town to visit you. Oh my God, I'm so excited you're here, but I knew you were coming. Like, yeah, I'm lit. I'm so excited that you're, we have so much that we're going to do. Think about the money that you're going to get. We have so much that we're going to do with the money. We're going to do this. We're going to invest in that. We're going to buy these properties. We're going to go on these trips. Like, I'm so excited, but I knew you were coming, you know? So just like start planning and start playing with what you're asking for. Like if even if you're asking for a new car or a new place to live, like I knew you were coming and I'm already decorating in my head. I'm already picking out what rims I want in my head. I'm already, you know, like planning the next road trip in my head because I knew it was coming, right? Have this expectation with what you want because that's what manifestation is. Why are we calling it manifestation if we don't expect to get what we want? Expect to get what you want. It's just a matter of how long does it take to get to you? How long is the desire in route? The sooner you normalize it, the faster it gets to get to you, right? Because then you're doing the action steps that are associated with getting what you want. And it's no big deal to you because you've already normalized it. It's just what you do to get what you want. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one.